Martha's Vineyard, home to beautiful beaches, exclusive country clubs, and family-owned businesses, is located just off the coast of Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Humphrey's Bakery is well known around the community for its freshly brewed coffee and homemade donuts. A familiar spot for Islanders to get breakfast and catch up on the news. Man, how are you? It's not uncommon to see owner, Mike doing? Diaz, greeting his customers in the Humphrey shops. How are you today? Good. We got a coffee complaint. This one's fine, I dumped the other one. A girl may have hit the button twice and it re-brewed through the old grounds. Usually excellent. And it is excellent right now, as a matter of fact. It doesn't take long to travel to Martha's Vineyard, but life on the vineyard is a long way from life in the city. After a short drive to the Cape and a brief ride on the ferry, the hustle bustle of the city fades to the quiet comfort of the vineyard. First thing people think of when they have good memories of someplace is food. I own Humphrey's Bakery, which started actually by my wife's grandfather around 56 years ago. The original store was in West Tisbury, and that was on the property that we had been living on and that my grandparents lived on. They had a house there, and they had built that store there. My uncle was thinking about retiring, and he didn't really, I, th I think he was unsure what to do with it. He wanted to keep it in the family. He didn't have any children of his own. He asked if we'd be interested, and so my husband went over and worked for him for several years. Never baked a thing in my life. Never made a donut, didn't know anything about baking. I'll take off my carpenter's apron and put on a white apron. And it's like, oh my God, this is, this is gonna be crazy. Excuse me. Okay, what are, we gonna, what are we talking about? I had talked to other people in my hometown of Tampa that had successful bakeries. And what they were doing, they were saying, listen, we have in the bakery business, you had your morning crowd with your fresh croissants, fresh uh, donuts, muffins, and this and this. But at lunchtime, there's no business. So you needed to fill that gap, that gap being lunchtime. How do you do it? Lunches, that's it. We had started doing sandwiches. It was just crazy, crazy popular with lines out the door. And, and we just couldn't keep up with it in the West Tisbury store. So. He felt like if we opened another location, it would sort of ease things up there. I needed to take some of this customer base to another location. And that's when I opened up my store in Eggertown. Now we have less stress on this store. And it just kind of evolved from that. I, I'm going to be 50 years old in a few months. And all my other friends that are working in Boston, working in New York, or even here on Martha's Vineyard, they're working every day. They got to get up in the morning and go to work. I don't have to unless there's a problem. So for me, I feel like one of the luckiest men alive. Like you, like you, like you, like you, like you.